Thanks for shopping here, Fungal. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much, Minty, for getting all these parts for me. I will definitely be back uh, soon for more parts. And yeah, as for those ones, I'll come and pick them up a little bit later. So yeah, have a nice day. Say hello to your grandma for me. Uh, I will do, but yeah, grandma actually went away on a little bit of a holiday. But yeah, I'll catch you a bit later. Glad to see you again. Hello everybody and welcome back to My Garage Zero to Hero. Alright, so yes, as you have heard, grandma is actually gone for a little while. She went away on holiday. She actually went to visit my sister. So yeah, there's a... Yeah, a little bit of a break from this little town for Grandma. But yes, there's been a couple of things going on over the weekend. So obviously we are still at the house. And I just need to get the brand new parts fitted to the Impala. So what I have done is I have taken the old parts over to Minty. And yeah, he actually gave me some replacement parts. So I actually did replace the radiator already, but... Yeah, that is a little bit of an expense that we had to incur over the weekend. So yeah, we are going to basically just mount our brand new performance carburetor on this engine. Because I did uh, negotiate a bit with Kyle with regards to getting this engine off of him. And yeah, I actually managed to get this thing running and it wasn't actually running too bad. Uh, there was just a couple of things that I had to yeah sort out like the radiator as well as the... Um, air filter and carburetor as you see but yeah we also went to buy some coolant and oil for the Camaro because I'm hoping today we'll be able to get the engine in at least and yeah another note we actually didn't get any suspension parts for the Camaro because Hugo actually phoned me and he told me that over the weekend I shouldn't bother buying parts because he's actually got basically all of the parts for the Camaro suspension ready to go. We just need to go and pick it up at some point today. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our old Impala over here. We're going to fire it up. Uh, we're going to head over to the shop and we need to go and pick up our trailer. So that means we're going to have to probably go and pick up those parts with the trailer and Grandma's ladder wagon because this thing uh, doesn't have a tow bar on it. Alright, so we're just going to park here for a second, going to close up the garage door. And I'll also uh, give you guys a bit of a rundown what I have done to the Impala over here once we get back to the shop. So yeah, let's uh, head over there and see what else we can get ourselves busy with on this beautiful Monday morning. So yeah, yeah, let's get going. All right, and we are back at our shop. So we just need to pop the trunk quickly because I actually took the toolbox with me to do the air filter and carburetor replacement. So yeah, basically what I have done with the Impala, as you can see, it is now running with the engine that came out of the Camaro. We just did a little bit of servicing to the engine. So as for the rest of the car, I actually went with the parts that came off the Camaro. So we managed to get the, quite a few things of the Camaro that was going to work a little bit better than the parts we had on this thing like the rear shock absorber we had a better brake caliper we were able to replace obviously the wheels of the Camaro is also installed on the Impala uh, except for one of them the one wheel was a little bit cracked and the tire was leaking so we put all of the good wheels on this car just for now we are going to need some new tires soon again for this thing but I'm actually thinking of just doing a the bodywork on the car first and then we'll focus on getting wheels and tires for this thing as well as the new engine i would like to get in this thing because this is just the temporary engine for now uh, so i'm thinking uh, if spartan comes back and he's unable to build an engine for our ramp truck we will probably just swap this one over to our ramp truck because i would actually like to restore this thing to its former glory and make it definitely shine quite a nice well a little bit better than it's currently shining I tried washing this thing, but this dirt is so pitted into the paintwork, it doesn't want to come off at all. So this is as good as it's going to get until we eventually sandblast this thing and get rid of all the rust, for that matter. Uh, as for the chrome work, we will be taking all of the bright work off of this thing, or the chrome work, and sending it in for basically re-chroming. And we are also going to see if we can find the missing parts, like this door strip that's missing, and... 
I think we've also got a missing fender flare over here. And yeah, there's a couple of things that we need to just go through before we call this thing done one day. Uh, we're also missing a fender wheel arch trim on, on this corner. Uh, we're going to have to get a rear glass for this thing. I've got no idea if I'm going to be able to find this glass, but it'll be good if we can get this thing sorted out. As for the interior, uh, I actually found a guy who's got a second-hand interior for this thing in red. So that is a uh, brand new seats with the old second-hand interior parts. Uh, it's also got a red dashboard, center console, and all that with the carpet and the headliner in red. Although our headliner is looking very good, it's actually seems like it was redone recently but yeah that's uh basically my idea for this thing we're gonna see if we can get this thing looking like factory fresh eventually uh same story goes for grandma's lada wagon over here because it's definitely also in need of some tender love and care or tlc as you guys may know it but yes we now quickly have to go and pick up the parts for this chevy camaro which you will see that i actually did some primer work over the weekend after sandblasting the parts a little bit more we were able to get all of the rust off as far as i could see so these parts have all been sprayed in primer gray and yeah i also did a little bit of cleanup uh, put all of the parts that are still usable on the shelf over here so yeah you can see i've been quite a bit busy i haven't done too much but i have been yeah keeping myself busy a bit so i think we're gonna hook up to our trailer and just gonna go and pick up those panels we need to get this thing put back together we've got the new floor pan the firewall and the right hand side in a fender so yeah let's jump in this car quickly get the trailer hooked up and then we'll get those parts and we'll start cracking on with this thing all right so we've got all of the parts here over at minty's so we can now head back to our shop and start putting this camaro back together uh, actually, as I'm loading these parts into the trailer and looking at Grandma's uh, old Lada wagon here, I noticed we've got uh, quite a bit of holes in the floor pan on that side, as well as the trunk. So yeah, we'll probably do a similar job to this little Lada wagon once we get into it. But yes, for now, let's get back to our shop and see if we can start putting this Camaro back together again. All right, we are back at the shop and yeah, I just got to say one thing, the Lada wagons brakes are starting to really wear out. This thing is struggling to come to a stop. So it's a little bit dangerous for us to actually drive all the way over to Hugo's with this car. So I actually went and bought another trailer hitch to mount to the ramp truck as well. So yeah, we are going to probably have to take the ramp truck rather. Uh, I believe I didn't show you guys in the last episode, but we did get the missing wheel for the ramp truck at the back. And that just makes it a little bit safer to drive. And we also replaced the bolt tires that we had on this thing. So we've got some decent tires at least now. And also the, yeah, the sixth wheel has been mounted, as they would say. So yeah, that is a, a little bit better. And I feel a little bit more comfortable towing things with the ramp truck as well now. So yeah, that is definitely some improvement we have done. Uh, so yeah, I think what we're going to do is let's just bring everything closer because I'm not sure what is going to be able to mount first. Uh, I'm hoping to do the floor pan before we have to start putting the suspension on. So this will actually be great if we can get this thing into position. So let's give this a test quickly. And see, yeah, I believe we should be able to get it welded into place now which I actually did go and buy myself a small welding machine. So it's nothing great. I obviously had to uh, test it out a bit. So I welded a piece of scrap metal and I also welded the inner fender on the right hand side, well, the driver side actually, back onto the car. So that is in place. So I think if we put it over here and just start welding the places we can on this floor, we're going to have to grab a, another electrode soon. All right, so let's bring our electrode box closer because we are going to use quite a bit of welding sticks on this. So let's grab this one. All right, and we're just going to pop a welding or an electrode out of the box. Let's get it mounted back on this thing. And 
uh, just continue welding these parts. Right, so that's it for now. Right, let's grab our firewall. I think this will go in next, just like that. Right, so now I'm going to see if we can weld this thing back onto the car. There should be a couple of welds we can get. Alright, there we go. We've got our firewall in place. It's definitely going to be better if this thing is welded properly. So we're just going to grab our next electrode over here. This is definitely a, a little bit of a primitive welding machine, but it gets the job done. It just takes a little bit longer. But I'm quite proud of this little welding machine. It's definitely going to do the job for us for the time we need it to. All right, so this uh, is our other inner fender. So let's get that mounted. And I was just thinking about all the fun we are going to have trying to put this thing back together with uh, no suspension in place. But we are going to see how far we can get. And then, yeah, if we've got everything basically mounted what we can, we will then give Hugo a call and just check if we can head over and pick up the suspension parts for this thing. Uh, so let me just double check if I've got all the welds. Yeah, all the welds are actually done now. So that that is actually uh, quite quick. I didn't think we were going to finish that so uh, so quickly in this episode. But yes, we managed to get it done. All right, so as we know, the parts of the Camaro actually mostly bolts down. So I think what we're going to do is let's see if we can start with our rocker panels. I'm not sure what sequence we need to follow for this. Uh, I actually think the roof should go on because we've still got this part fitted at the back. So maybe we should just start at the back with the quarter panels and then work our way forward. So this is our right hand quarter panel. Will this go on? Obviously not. So that isn't going to go on yet. So let's start from the fenders. So let's try our front fenders. Okay, so there's the first one. All right, so it's got these three bolts. All right, so those are on, or those bolts are bolted down. Let's grab this now. Is this going to go on? There we go. It's very uh, finicky, but that is where it goes. All right, and then we'll grab our left-hand rocker panel. So now at least we know we need to mount these parts from the front to the back. So that is uh, good to know. All right, so there is that. And then we'll need to get our front right fender. So let's get this onto the car like that. All right, let's get all of these bolts bolted down. Perfect. And next up is our right hand rocker panel, obviously, again. Right, and going to bolt this one down, and then we'll grab the quarter panel, and we'll just bolt that down. And just like that, this is already starting to look like a Chevy Camaro again. All right, so I believe these two pieces they should go on now. So that's the front part. All right, just like that, and this is the lower front part. So that actually bolts down, down over there and there. All right, so this is our cowl piece. All right, so that has got a bolt over there and probably one on the opposite side, just like that. All right, so next up, I don't want to mount the doors just yet because we are still going to be in and out of this thing. All right, so let's... Uh, Maybe see if we can get our roll cage in now because the floor has been replaced. All right, so there's the roll cage. And we'll just get that bolted down as well. All right, I don't think there are any bolts. No, those aren't the bolts for the roll cage. That is for the, the actual roof. So that is already done. Yeah, this roll cage doesn't really fit. It's actually built for a Dodge Challenger, but... Yeah, it doesn't fit too bad, and it's going to give us a little bit more protection, or actually give Carl a little bit more protection when he's uh, going to be rolling this thing on the drag strip, if that ever happens. 
So yeah, I think what we can do is let's grab our steering column because this is the old steering column that's going in. So we're going to get that into position over there. So I believe Hugo said also he's got new pedals and stuff also for this thing. Uh, the only thing he said he didn't get was the gear stick. But we'll probably get a gear stick for off Minties for this thing. So I think let's uh, see what else we have. We also have got new brake pass that's going to be going on this thing. So we can't really secure this at the moment. And I don't really want to put all the windows and glass and stuff in before this thing is painted. Uh, so I don't think we're going to put any of these parts on. Even the pedals we're not going to do. We've got a new gearbox that's going in. Uh, and I don't want to mount the engine yet because we've got a front cross member probably we're going to replace as well. So I think what I'm going to do is let's quickly give Hugo a phone call and see if we can go and pick up the parts, the, sus the suspension parts, and then we'll head over there and see if we can get everything loaded into our small trailer. Uh, but I think I'm going to be towing with the ramp truck rather because, yeah, as I said, this car's brakes are definitely bad. I've got no idea what actually happened. So yeah, let's just have a quick peek. Okay, so that brake rotor is actually broken. Uh, this one is... I uh, can't really tell if it's very thin or if it's still good. But yes, losing brakes in one brake corner is actually... Uh, yeah, that is uh, way too bad. All right, and on this side, what happened here was this... Uh, I can barely make out the brake this day. So that is still sort of intact. But yes... Considering this uh, brake rotor is broken on this corner, we don't have uh, any brakes at all, basically, on this car. But yes, enough uh, enough faffing about. Let's uh, get our cell phone out here. I'm going to quickly give Hugo a call. All right, so that was quite interesting. So... Just as I got off the phone with Hugo, uh, by the way, yes, all of the parts are ready for us to collect, the suspension parts and all that. Uh, I actually received a call from Alan. So he's got a customer who took his vehicle over to his house because he came to the shop and he saw the shop was closed. And then he gave Alan a call and then, yeah, Alan actually arranged so that the customer drops the, uh, his vehicle off over at his house. So we need to head over to Alan's house because apparently the customer vehicle is now parked behind his house uh, in his backyard. So we are going to head over there. We're going to load up the customer vehicle as well with our ramp truck. So this all worked out quite conveniently for me. But yeah, we are going to be a little bit busy now because apparently the customer is also giving us a little bit of money up front to start working on the car. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna talk a bit more about that car once we are there and we are picking it up. So I'll catch you guys once we are basically there. Fuck was rolling out of town in his trusty old Ford. Got a busted rollback bed, but he's revving hard. Heading down the highway, chasing even stars. Got to snag another customer's beat up car. Got a 68 Camaro on his mind tonight. Suspension parts rattling in the hole, feeling tight. Wind whistling through the cracks in the windows. Smiling wide as the road takes him where it goes. Fuckles on the road again, living life his way. Collecting cars and dreams as he travels day by day. The radio singing stories of the open Midwest. Cruising with a purpose, he's just doing his best. Signs flashing by, but he ain't in a rush Counting miles with a grin, there's no need to fuss 
Every car he hauls has a tale or two to tell. Alrighty, so we are here at Ellen's house once again uh, to pick up a vehicle and we're going to have to disconnect our trailer first of all. So we're just going to put it here out of the way and try and not flip it on the curb. Okay, and just going to leave it here for now. Uh, let's get the handbrake up and then get the vehicle around the back. I did have a glance of it. I'm not sure what type of car it is. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can jump this little hedge over here. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that is uh, quite an interesting looking vehicle. Uh, actually, I've got no idea what this thing is called. All right. So, apparently, this is a DeSoto. Uh, need to do a little bit more research on this car, what exactly this is. But he told me that the keys are in it and there's also some money, which is our yeah, initial payment. So we're just going to add that to our backpack for now. We'll just be sure to count it. Uh, but yes, we need to get this thing loaded up onto our ramp truck. So it doesn't look like it's got any engine problems. This engine looks fairly decent and clean. So yeah, Alan didn't really specify what is the mechanical problems, but I would take it it's uh, mostly suspension work. Uh, he also did mention that the wheels on the car doesn't fit the car as much. So we need to uh, improvise and get some better wheels for this car, uh, some more period correct wheels. So I take it this is a, a 50s, maybe a yeah, late 50s vehicle. So we'll see if we can find some better wheels for it. But yes, this thing on the interior has obviously been nicely restored. This thing is looking very good. And yeah, I think let's first of all bring it a little bit closer. Uh, I've got no idea where the ignition key is. It's not on a column. Oh, would you look at that? It's actually a dash mounted um, yeah, ignition switch. And it fired up no problem. This thing is uh, running like a well-oiled machine. Alright, well, let's bring this thing around. We're going to position it so that we can actually load it up onto our ramp truck. And then we still need to head over to Hugo's and get the suspension parts for the Camaro. Yeah, this car's suspension is definitely rough. And she likes to burn a bit of rubber just by taking that turn there. It's, uh, it's a little bit squirrely. Right, I think what we're going to do is let's just uh, park it over here. Right, let's get our ramp truck spinned around quick and get the ramps down and get this thing loaded and then we are going to hook up our trailer again and head over to Hugo's. All right, so let's see if we can get this thing moved up onto our ramp truck now. I'm gonna try and take it nice and easy. I've got no idea if the suspension is gonna allow this, but let's give it our best shot. Let's just straighten it out a bit. And I think we are on. All right, so let's get our handbrake up. And let's just quickly see how we did with parking this thing on the ramp truck this time. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. It's got a little bit of space on the right hand side, but that's fine. All right, well, so there she is loaded and we are ready to head off. Uh, we just need to obviously grab our trailer again. Um, yes, I actually did repaint this wheel over the weekend as well. That's another little task that I managed to yeah, finish off. So our trailer is looking good. And you can also see I did find the rear panel for this trailer. So that has uh, also been sorted out. So hopefully our parts won't be flying off the trailer as we are heading back to our shop with everything loaded. All right, so there we go. We've got our trailer back on. And I must tell you guys, the ramp truck is actually very underpowered with this little second-hand inline six we've got in it. But yes, at the moment, that is the only thing that we could really do to this thing. So let's get this thing fired up and head over to Hugo's and collect this Camaro's suspension parts. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we are here at Hugo's house again, and yeah, we managed to get this trailer actually reversed in quite straight, actually. Uh, yeah, I couldn't really see anything behind me, so yeah, we got it quite spot on, actually. But yeah, enough of that. Let's uh, quickly knock on Hugo's door and see if we can get these suspension parts quickly. Alright, so we have had a bit of a word with Hugo about all of the parts in the back of his truck over here. So obviously we are going to be turning this Camaro into a drag vehicle, which means it needs to be fitted with some drag tires at the back. So we've got two very wide drag tires over here. These are looking very decent and I think they will suit the look we are going for quite well on this car. Uh, but I'm just thinking this trailer might be a little bit too small for everything, but we're going to do our best and see if we can get everything inside this trailer. So yeah, let's uh, quickly try and load all of these things and I'll bring you guys back up to speed once I have played a little bit of Tetris here. Alright, so we are back with all of the parts now loaded into the trailer and yeah, this is... Uh, Definitely some next level Tetris that I had to play over here. But we've got everything loaded and I just hope we're going to be fine all the way back over to our shop. It's going to be quite a, a slow drive, especially with our ramp truck that is a little bit underpowered and we've got a car loaded on top of it. So yeah, this is going to be quite a bit challenging. So yeah, let me quickly pull Hugo's truck back into his garage for him. He gave me the keys to it. And I must say, this thing actually is very powerful. I mean, I put my foot on the brakes with this thing in first gear and it still keeps moving. So we gotta basically be very careful with Hugo's truck. Alright, so I'm going to call that a win. We didn't uh, crash this thing through the wall, luckily. But yes, we are now ready to head back to our shop. So I will catch up to you guys once we get there. All right, and we actually made it over to our shop again with all of the parts still on the trailer. Yeah, this was uh, very nerve wracking because, yeah, obviously I can't see anything behind me and it is definitely a very slow and painful drive with our truck being underpowered as well. But yes, we made it and everything seems to be here. I don't think there's anything missing, nothing fell out. But we'll only know that once we start putting this thing together now. So I'm going to try and see how far we can get before we really have to end this episode. So yeah, we've got a couple of things in our backpack as well, like the smaller front suspension and shock absorbers and stuff like that. So yeah, I think all of the parts we have here, we should be actually getting this thing up and running. Um, just as I said, it depends on the amount of time we're going to have. So let's see, once I get everything unloaded, how far we can get by putting this thing back together. Alright, and here we are. Everything has been offloaded. And I actually parked the Ram truck and the customer's DeSoto in a parking space there. The trailer is also parked off the side. And yeah, now we just need to start putting this thing back together. So, luckily for us, all of the suspension parts are already kind of assembled. But we need to take off the old cross member here, obviously, because that is uh, something that needs to come out. So, let's get this unbolted over there. And this is going to leave us with another piece of, uh, well, a part that we could reuse later down the line. But yeah, this is going to go quite easily because we just need to bolt down a couple of parts. Seeing as we've got everything basically assembled from Hugo. Uh, we've got our torsion bars that we can just pop in as well. So I think let's just get everything sorted at the front. We've got brakes and everything installed already. So this is actually a very... Yeah, how can I say? It's like a sort of a... Basically as if half the work is done already for us. So those are in fact the lowered torsion bars that we managed to get from Hugo for this car, for the front. And then we'll get our front wheels mounted as well. 
because there's nothing else that needs to go on over here except for our brake line. So let's get our brake line into place. And I just started kicking a wheel around, but that's okay. Right, so there's our brake line. We'll just bolt up all of the brake hoses to the new main line, and that should keep it into place. So let's start on the front end first, obviously, and grab our other wheel over here. Right, so there we go. I actually might take the wheels off again when we take this thing over to paint. We'll just slap on some other wheels. We don't mind getting some paint on. But at the moment, I do want to actually see what this thing looks like and if we are going to need some wheel spaces or anything like that. So let's give this a little bit of a shot. These are the rear leaf springs, which are actually the lifted leaf springs, which should give this thing the look we are trying to go for over here. All right, so there's the other one, and the bolts are up there and over there. All right, so now we can finally get our axle into position. All right, so we now have got the rear axle into place. It's been a little bit of a mission for me to get this thing in because obviously we've got uh, the suspension lifted at the rear and this handbrake cable was a little bit in the way so I've started bolting this thing down once I got it into place. So we're just going to bolt down everything else we need to do over here. We've got the brake hoses obviously as well. I think these ones are already got bolted down so those should be all nice and snug. That is done already. All right, so next up, I can probably try and get the drive shaft in. So I'm not sure if this is going to work. Yeah, we've got to we've got to maybe adjust these lift arms inwards a bit or outwards a bit. So let's just get that put down again. I'm going to lower it down a little bit just so that we can open these arms a little bit or just retract them a bit. All right, this should give us a little bit more workspace there. All right, so that looks fine. All right, so let's go up again with this thing. All right, and that should do. Let's get this drive shaft in now. All right, perfect. And we're going to bolt it down. And hopefully it'll stay there. All right, and as for the transmission, I think we can get this installed next. All right, so let's get our transmission into place and then we'll slap on those big fat tires. All right, so there's our transmission. So we'll just bolt it down there and also on the drive shaft back here. All right, so that is basically done. So now let's get these rear wheels mounted. So these are quite wide. Definitely going to give this car the grip it needs on the drag strip. Right, and here's our other big wheel for this side. And I actually forgot to put my welding machine away. Luckily, it's still here, but that is not a big problem. Right, and that is our drag tires fitted to this car now. The rest of the parts that can go in are basically the engine parts, the stuff that mounts to the firewall. So yeah, there we go. We've got this thing pretty much sorted but there's absolutely no suspension because we haven't mounted all of the control arms as well as the shock absorbers so that is something we can probably pop in as well and i think i actually lowered this thing down a little bit too soon so let's get these arms under it again because i think it's just easier to lift it up a bit so let's just quickly do this again all right those ones we didn't take out yet all right, let's lift this thing up a bit. All right, so our brake master cylinder we can drop here. This is a shock absorber for the back. And we've got another one for the back. And then the two for the front over here and over there. And then we've got some new pedals. So let's put the pedals into place. So they should go over there. Let's bolt them down and we've got our handbrake lever, brand new one. It's going on to over here. 
and that's going to be a little bit fun to tighten down. Alright, so we've got our handbrake cable back into place and now we can just quickly get our master cylinder into position. Alright, so let's bolt that down as well. So that is looking fairly decent. Let's not forget our bolt under there for the main brake line. Alright, now let's grab our upper control arms. Let's get these into position. All nice and shiny. Almost similar to what we did on Spartan's car. But these are only chrome. They aren't basically purple chrome or anything like that. Speaking of which, we're going to have to probably decide on the color for this car. Or we're going to have to probably speak with Kyle about the color he would like on this thing. Alright, so let's just get these front shock absorbers into place. And then we'll quickly tackle the rear ones. Right, there's a nut over there. Okay. And let's grab this shock absorber. That needs to go over there. And bolt it down there. And the last one. Alright, and just like that, we've got suspension basically sorted on this thing. So now we can bring it down. And now we can see how this thing is going to sit properly. It's definitely looking quite mean. And that is what you would expect from a drag car. Very little parts. And yeah, this thing is sitting a little bit skew. Or is it just me? Yeah, it's a little bit skew. So let's just push it over before we get the engine mounted. Alright, so up next we will be fitting the engine. But I'll probably have to take it out of this crate first of all. So let's get this thing unbolted and then see how this is going to fit into the car. Alright, so we've got the engine ready to go into the car. So we'll uh, discuss a little bit about what is the story of this engine. As you can see, this is a twin turbocharged engine. And this thing has been built up from the ground. And yeah, apparently everything is brand new. So this cost us uh, basically half of our budget that we had to spend on the car. So I'm hoping this thing is going to make decent enough power for this thing to shred the quarter mile time. And obviously these turbochargers are dual turbochargers or twin turbochargers. However you would like to call it. But yes, I believe twin turbochargers are the correct term for this. Uh, so we are still missing a couple of things. Uh, small nitty gritty stuff. I don't think we have a fuel line, for example. And we still don't have everything else. We've got the exhaust, so we can at least get the exhaust mounted as well. So that might actually be something to do still. Alright, so let's bolt that down. And then we will also do the opposite side exhaust. And just like that. Alright, so we've got our mufflers installed. Although, yeah, they're actually just open pipes, straight pipes. Uh, now the last thing that I can think of mounting in this thing would be probably the radiator and the front seat. Uh, we'll definitely ship this box back to where it came from. Uh, but yes, we are going to mount this front driver's seat, which is going to be the only seat in this car. Because you don't actually take passengers for a drag run in a drag car like this. So yeah, there we go. Our seat is mounted. And let's just quickly come and grab the radiator. And then I believe the only thing I'm going to have to do is probably top up the coolant before we try and fire this thing up. But yeah, this monster actually needs to go over to paint next so we don't want to get yeah, paint on the wheels. So I'm going to have to swap the wheels again. But I think it's actually nice to see what this thing's going to look like. So imagine this thing all painted with all of its stickers and all that. It'll definitely give the whole racing vibe. And yeah, with all the chrome work and everything going back on this thing, it's definitely going to suit it very nicely. So that is definitely one mean machine in the making. 
Uh, we might have to see if we can get a, a hood that will clear this air filter or maybe swap out the air filter. We'll see. But yes, this is in fact a very powerful engine. We'll see if this thing's going to fire up. We might be missing some parts because I'm not too sure if this is an EFI system. So we might have to get the actual mounting bracket for it and all of that that is supposed to go on the firewall. But yeah, I will have to do a little bit of research and see what this thing's going to need to fire up. And yeah, that is uh, definitely a lot of work we've done in this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate every view, every like. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I will appreciate it very much. But yes, until the next time, cheerio!